Uh, just, I just want to say uh, uh, two things. One is, uh, I think, you know, Chris is right about retail being willing to answer questions. And what Donald Trump does now, he is wedded to the teleprompter. He can't get off that teleprompter. Anytime he does, he says things like, don't vote. He's telling people not to vote. Like, we have all the votes we need. Really? Like, wait a minute. You lost the popular vote to Hillary Clinton in 2016. You don't have all the votes you need. Um, and so I think that it's just shown this is a different Donald Trump than 2015 and 16. Um, lost the zip on his fastball, has a sense of entitlement, um, all this stuff, doesn't think he has to go through and earn it like other candidates. And that's just not going to fly in Iowa and New Hampshire. And that's why, you know, how this came to be with Iowa and New Hampshire and on the way that I don't, I don't know, but I'll tell you, just having been here, I'm glad that it works this way because I do think you got to earn it. And I think the voters expect that. That's the first thing. Second thing is, I think. Chris has said, and I've said, uh, we need a candidate that can win the general election. Uh, there's too many people that just are not going to vote for Trump at this point, is my view, and I think Chris as well. But you have another wrinkle now with RFK Jr. as a third party. RFK Jr. will be a vessel for anti-lockdown and anti-Fauci voters if Trump is the nominee. If I'm the nominee, they all go to me because I stood up against Fauci. I'm going to clean out CDC and all those. It's a big part of my platform. With Trump, though, he, he created Fauci. He elevated Fauci. He never fired him. He said that he did everything right during COVID. He claims he saved 100 million lives, you know, with the MNRA vaccine and all this stuff. And I think those voters who are understandably still very frustrated with how this federal government handled COVID and the lies that were told and, the, and all the mistakes that were made with no accountability, they're going to want a vessel for that. And I think they may default uh, to Kennedy. So I think he will hurt Trump way more than he would hurt any other candidates. And that makes it even a tougher uphill battle when you start talking about states like Georgia, when you start, ta start taking about, talking about states like Wisconsin and, and, and Arizona, Nevada. We need to put our best foot forward here. Uh, I will be the vessel for people that want accountability for, for COVID and, and the mistakes that were made. Governor okay. DeSantis.